So it's going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another main channel video. In this video I'm going to be making my championship predictions for the upcoming 2017-18 season. Now, it's currently the 4th of August when I'm um, recording this, there's two games on tonight to kick off the championship season. Sunderland against Derby, and Forrester playing somebody that I, I, um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure who they're playing. But I'll just have to check out this video, I guess. But uh, yeah, two games to kick off the championship uh, tonight. Then pretty much the rest um, of the, the teams in the championship play tomorrow, and then a couple play on Sunday as well. So it's all kicking off in the championship, um, League One and League Two, um, and all the other divisions, I guess, this weekend. But um, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on my championship predictions. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Now, in 24th, rock bottom of the championship, I'm predicting Burton to come there. Just simply because, um, well, they did a very good job um, of surviving their first season in the championship. They finished 20th last season. They did a very good job, but I don't think they're going to be able to handle it this season because... Um, from what I've heard, like loads of clubs um, have been spending big, and uh, I just don't think they will be able to handle it this season um, as they did last season. Moving on to second from bottom, twenty third place. I'm predicting Millwall's gone there. They got promoted via the League One playoffs uh, last season. Um, they missed out on the season before. Uh, got promoted last season, and uh, yeah, um, I don't think like the players that I have bought in. I don't think that they that they are going to be able to prove themselves, and unless they hit the ground running, um, um. From day one, I I, I just don't I, I don't think um, um, that they're gonna be able to survive. In twenty second, um, I put Bolton Wanderers. Um, so <sighs> they've bought in a couple of um, experienced Championship players. Um, I'm not gonna name them because I've, I've I've honestly forgotten. I should have done. I should have done. Um. Uh. I should have uh, done a bit of research before doing this video. But yeah, they they have. Um. They have bought in a couple of experienced championship players, but. Uh, I don't, I don't think. That. They. I I don't, I don't think that they are going to be able to, like a bit like Millwall, I don't think uh, that they are going to be able to prove themselves in the championship. That, Like, they were a quite a stable club in the Premier League, like quite a few years ago now, uh, back in 2012 when they got relegated. Um, they spent like a good like, 10 seasons in the Premier League, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they back then, back then, back in the day, in like, 2012 um, and way before then like they were a solid Premier League team then since they came down to the championship I, I think it just it all just fell apart there they had like three or four seasons in the championship before they got relegated uh, in 2015-16 uh, to League One came back up uh, finished second uh, last season behind Sheffield United and um yeah, I just don't, I don't I don't think um, like for all the relegation p places that I predicted, I I I, don't, I just don't think that they're gonna be able to handle it this season in the championship. Obviously, like uh, clubs spending big and everything, um, I, I don't think that they're gonna be able to do it. They're gonna be able to survive, but who knows? Twenty um, first just right. Surviving relegation uh, by the skin of their teeth, I predicted Barnsley 
Now, Barnsley have Paul Hettingbottom as their manager, and uh, uh, correct, like, prove me wrong and stuff, but I, I don't think that that he's an experienced championship manager. I don't, I don't think he really knows what the championship is all about, to be honest. Um, uh, to be honest, I, I, I haven't really heard of him um, as a championship manager. Oh, I, I could be wrong, he could do pretty decent with Barnsley, but who knows, but I'm predicting 21st. In 20th, um, I am going to be predicting Bristol City to come there. Now, Bristol City have Lee Johnson as their manager, um, which, like Paul Hacking Bottom, I don't think he's really a proven, stable championship manager, to be honest. Uh, I don't... I, I, I just don't know. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think he's a stable championship manager, a proven championship manager, who can at least keep teams that are not good enough to go up to the Premier League, uh, at least keep them in the championship. Um, and uh, they've lost Tammy Abraham as well, um, which I think was their main source of goals, really. Uh, last season to keep them up in the championship, um, uh, but yeah, I think they're still gonna survive though. Nineteenth, I am predicting Nottingham Forest to come there now. Uh, Nottingham Forest, uh, they survived uh, on the last day of the season. They almost got relegated to League One. Um, they survived by the skin of their teeth. Um, they've lost. Brutus on Belonga, um, who scored um, a couple of goals on that day to keep them up. Um, he's gone to Middlesbrough. Um, and, um, yeah, um, I think they're still going to survive uh, this season. Um, I think they are a proven championship club. Um, who can stay in this division and uh, and are stable enough to to survive in this division? Uh, so yeah, I'm predicting Nottingham Forest to come nineteenth. In eighteenth, I'm predicting Ipswich to come eighteenth um, because I think they could like. Last season they finished fifteenth. They they didn't have the best of seasons, um, and I think I, I think the the Ipswich um, fans are are getting on Mick McCarthy's back. Um, I, I I don't think uh, the fans really uh, like um, him as their manager anymore. Uh, they they're turning on his back, and I think. Sooner or later, I think he is um, gonna go. Uh, sooner or later, um, uh, because that, that's what happened with Claudio Ranieri. Because uh, well, it wasn't. I don't think it was necessarily with the fans. I think, but it was like with the players. They they stopped playing for him, and off he went um, last season. And I think that's what what's gonna happen with Mick McCarthy. Like, obviously the fans are on his back, and I think like since the fans want him to go, like the Ipswich players will start creating poor performances, and um, maybe uh, he'll be on his way and giving his marching orders. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm predicting Ipswich to come 18th. Now in 17th, I'm predicting QPR to come 17th. Um, um, QPR have Ian Holiday, uh, Ian, Holiday <laughs> Ian Holloway as a manager. Can't believe I just said Ian Holloway. <laughs> anyway, Ian Holloway as a manager. Um, I have Ian Holloway as a manager. Um, he's an okay manager. He's 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 got clubs up before. Um, obviously, QPR have come up from this division. Uh, this division before, 
Um, Ian Holloway has uh, got clubs up from this division before, like Blackpool, Crystal Palace. Uh, he's got those clubs up before from the Championship. QPR have got themselves, obviously, I just, as I just said, they've got themselves before uh, up to the Premier League uh, a couple of times. Uh, in the past, they've won, like, won the Championship and also like, they've won um, the playoffs a few years ago as well. So, yeah, they can go up, but I, I just don't rate Ian Holloway as a manager anymore. Um, I don't think... I don't think he's um, that manager he once was, uh, where where he would get teams out of the championship. Um, I think he's more of a, a manager who gets you mid table and nowhere else really. Um, and that's just my opinion anyway. But uh, in sixteenth, I am predicting Cardiff to come sixteenth. Um, Cardiff. Cardiff, um, well, they've got Neil Warnock as a manager who's done amazing things for the club. Um, like, Cardiff, like, halfway through the season, like, I guess, like, 15 games into it or something, um, we're in a, lo a lot, a lot of trouble. Um, they were, like, in the relegation places uh, last season until Neil Warnock came and changed everything and got them a mid-table place so they went from facing the fear of relegation to league one from uh, to finishing in a mid-table spot and yeah i think that neil warnock did an absolutely amazing job last season of turning uh, cardiff around so yeah i'm predicting them to come 16th. In 15th, I'm predicting Brentford. Now, Brentford, um, since they've come up from League One, they've been pretty good. Like, they got the playoffs in their first season uh, in the Championship. They, they finished, like, they finished, like, fifth or sixth or something. I, fin I think they finished fifth or something. And, uh, yeah, they got, uh, unfortunately, they did get, get knocked out. Uh, of the playoffs, but yeah, to, to get for coming up from League One to get your to get playoffs instantly is, I think, a massive feat uh, in a in a league like the Championship, which is so hard to get out of uh, these days. Um, but uh, yeah, um, they did an amazing job when they came up. And, uh, yeah, ever since, they've been a stable championship club and they've proven themselves that they can survive in this division and they can even get playoffs if they want to. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm predicting Brentford to come 15th um, and comfortably survive. In 14th, I'm predicting Reading to come uh, in 14th. Now, this is a massive, massive jump from third place, which they got last year. They got to the playoff finals and lost the penalties, of course. But yeah, I'm I'm predicting them to have a rebuilding season because they had a very good season last season, finishing third, almost getting uh, automatics. Um, so yeah, I'm predicting them to have a, a little bit of a rebuilding season um, to kind of find themselves again, and then probably next season push for playoffs again. Thirteenth, I'm predicting. Sunderland to come there. Now, Sunderland, obviously, uh, 13th, um, I think is, is a fair, uh, a fair prediction for, for Sunderland. They, they came down for the Premier League, had, had an abysmal, abysmal season last season in the Premier League, uh, finishing rock bottom, um, David, David Moyes, uh, went, uh, at the end of the season. Son Grayson has come in, and uh, yeah, he's he's got Aidan McGeady, he's got Aidan McGeady uh, into the squad. Uh, he's got a couple of others which are um, I, I don't I I I don't think um, um will be good enough to propel them into a playoff place. 
Uh, I think the most likely position that they're probably going to come in is like 9th to 13th. 12th, I'm predicting Birmingham to come 12th. Uh, like, bang the middle of the table. Now, Birmingham, I, d I honestly don't know what happened to Birmingham last season. They were like flying, absolutely flying up the table. They were 7th. They had Gary Rowe in charge last season. And then, as soon as they sacked Gary Rowe at Christmas, it all went to pot. They got Jan Branco's owner in. And, uh, yeah. It all went to pot from there. They zoomed down the table like a rocket. And, uh, yeah. They, they almost got relegated. Like, they, they took it to the final day to save their championship status. Like, they, they, they were, they were one second, well, what, one place away from the playoffs, and then suddenly they sacked Guy Rao at Christmas, got Jan Franco Zona in, it all went apart, and they almost got relegated. So, yeah, pretty mad, se pretty mad season for them, but yeah, Jan Franco Zona went. Harry Redknapp has come in, which I think he's a solid manager, uh, Harry Redknapp. Uh, he's been around loads of clubs, he's been around for ages now. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, I think, uh, like Sunderland, I think this is a rebuilding season, I think, for Birmingham. 11th, I'm predicting Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United won League One last season. Um... Um, which, obviously, for them is amazing. Um, they've come up, and they've got some experienced championship players in, including Richard Stearman, uh, formerly of Fulham and Wolves. Um, obviously, Stearman st uh, spent uh, um, the season on loan. Um, uh, the season on loan last season at us um, um, before going back to Fulham and then going to Sheffield United uh, which I think is a solid um, acquisition um, uh, if I'm if I'm using the right words there but yeah a solid acquisition um, for Sheffield United in 10th um, I'm predicting sh uh, Preston to come in 10th. Now, Simon Grayson has left, left for Sunderland uh, from Preston. And they've got Alex Neal in, um, who is experienced in the championship. He, he got, he got uh, Norwich up into the Premier League. Um... He got Norwich up into the Premier League, uh, then he got relegated with Norwich in the Premier League, um, and then, yeah, he, he was still at Norwich, uh, he spent the season after, which was last season, uh, in the Championship as well, so he's had two seasons of experience in the Championship, one season of experience in the Premier League, so, yeah, uh, I think, I think um, he... Is a good manager in the championship, and uh, I think um, he'll work wonders with them. In ninth, I'm predicting Leeds. Now Leeds uh, finished seventh, just outside the playoff places uh, last season. Um, they thought they were going to get playoffs, and then the last few games of the season, it all went to pot, and they uh, they. Um, managed to miss out on the playoffs, uh, unfortunately for them. So another season uh, in the championship, and uh, yeah, I think they're going to finish ninth um, uh, this season, um, purely because um, I think I think um, that. 
Chris Wood's goals is not going to be enough uh, this season uh, to propel them into a playoff place. I think, in my opinion, I, th I think they need something more than that. I need they need like um, someone else to partner in partner Chris Wood up top. I think, um, and then it'll probably. Uh, be a bit more effective. Eighth, I'm predicting Fulham to come. Eighth, um, Fulham got a playoff place last season. They finished sixth last season. Um, they got knocked out in the semi-finals of the playoffs by Reading. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I think they they could even get playoffs this season. Um, I'm just I'm just predicting eighth and hoping hoping that that um I'm I'm just hoping that um uh, my predictions uh my prediction for them will be proved wrong and they all get into the playoffs. But seventh I'm predicting Derby to just just miss out on the playoffs. Um I think I think Derby um They've had a strange couple of seasons. I, the last time, I think they were challenging for playoffs. Really, um, was twenty fourteen fifteen, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I think they are going to finish seventh this season. In sixth, I'm predicting Aston Villa to come sixth, uh, just inside the playoffs. Um, because I think Steve Bruce is a really good manager uh, for them. Uh, they've bolstered their squad. They've got the likes of John Terry in, which is well, he hasn't got any. Obviously, he hasn't got any championship experience, but he is a very good centre back. Um, I'll give them that. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. Uh, I think they'll finish sixth. Fifth, I think Norwich will finish fifth. Um, uh, they're getting uh, the German flair, uh, a bit of the German flair. They're getting a load of uh, players from uh, the German Bundesliga leagues. And uh, yeah, I think that will help them propel uh, themselves into a player place. I think they're going to come fifth. Fourth, I think Sheffield Wednesday will come fourth. Um, they've always, the past few seasons, Sheffield Wednesday, I think, have always been uh, a club that has been uh, in the playoffs. Because last season they got knocked out in the semi-finals, so they made it to the finals this season before uh, lost to Hull, they lost to their neighbours Huddersfield. Um... Uh, last season in the semi-finals, um, so I think I think they are a solid playoff um, contender. In third, I think Wolves are going to finish third because we have spent big. We've got Ruben Neves in for fifteen million. Um, we've got Leo Bonatini or. Uh, yeah, I think it's Bonatini. Um, we've got Leo Bonatini, uh, the forward in, on the loan. Uh, we've got John Ruddy in, who I think is a solid championship goalkeeper. Uh, in second place, I'll put Hull. Um, because Hull, um, last time they came down from the Premier League in 2014-15, they went straight back up by the playoffs. Um, and I think... Uh, with their manager, uh, obviously their manager is not experienced, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, he may work wonders. Uh, after wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, um, uh, I think Hull are going to finish second. Um, um, I, I've. I, I I think more they're gonna finish in the playoffs, but I I just have that good instinct that that they're gonna finish second. 
And uh, yeah, I think you all know uh, who is going to come top. Uh, and that is Middlesbrough. Now, Middlesbrough um, have bought... Um, they have strengthened their squad. Um, they brought British Song Malonga, who I think is a very good striker, um, who will bag you 15 to 20 goals a season. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think they, to be honest, I think that the squad they've, they, they've, that they've got, I think they're too good for the championship, to be honest. Um, they, they were, they were okay, uh, in the Premier League last season. All, all they did was lack goals. Uh, they could, they just couldn't score. Um, so I think if British on the longer, if they do win the championship, uh, which I think, <laughs> I think they most definitely will. Um, I think British on the longer, hopefully for them, uh, will be a pro um, will prove that the ha has what it takes to play in the Premier League. So yeah, uh, that has been my championship predictions um, for the upcoming season 2017-18. Uh, if you want to see um, a Premier League predictions um, for the upcoming season, uh, then um, yeah, uh, smash that like button and uh, yeah, I may be able to do that. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you. Uh, on Friday with another Wall Screen Mode episode. Uh, until then, goodbye, guys!